one is fixed to a wall and it has some distributed loads on it. All right, the other option is if it's pinned and rollered, all right, make sure those papers get all the way around real quickly. All right, so from statics, from statics, I would get an AY of 48 kilonewtons and an MA 261 counterclockwise, 261 kilonewton meters counterclockwise. All right, so I'm gonna give everybody the, the yeah, you got extras. Okay, I'm gonna try to go quickly, all right? You know, see how fast we can do this. Try to get there before me. Try, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. You ready? All right. So immediately I get pushed up by 48, right? Due to that 48. And then this distributed load takes me down by 30, correct? It takes me down by 30. So, so I, I go to uh, 18. And I go linearly, right? I go linear because... This, it's pushing me down by 10, by 10, by 10, by 10, by 10, by 10. All right. And then nothing is happening from here to here. And then this pushes me down. That area would be 18. Yes, a good sign. And then how does it push me down? Well, it pushed me down just a little bit to begin with, but then more steep right there. So there we go. 48 down to 18, over, curve down. Got it? Easy? All right. Then the moment. Three things I'm looking for for the moment. The moment, if I see a moment, it pushes me immediately up or down. Clockwise pushes me up. So this counterclockwise 271, 261 pushes me down by 261. Negative 261. I just, I just memorized clockwise pushes my moment diagram up. I see a counterclockwise 261. It pushes my moment diagram down. Okay. Let's look at this. So now I need the area under that. So the other two, the other two things I'm thinking, the area under the shear changes my moment. And then V is the slope of M. So that area is a positive area. You could look at it as a trapezoid, a triangle on top of a rectangle. Uh, it, it has an area of 99. So this goes from 261 to 162. And then let's, let's look at this and let's think about this. The E is a slope of M. So it starts with a slope of 48, steep. It ends with a slope of 18, not as steep. And so this would be this sort of curvature. I'm exaggerating because it, it, still, it still has a positive slope when it gets to that 162. Um, but you might want to, you know, exaggerate a little bit to show me that you understand the curvature right there. All right, then this area right here, it's a rectangle whose area must be 18 by 7, uh, what's that area, 128 or something? Because uh, I know that I get to 36, and it goes linearly to 36. Linearly because V is the slope of M. It has slope of 18, the slope of 18, the slope of 18, slope of 18, slope of 18. Okay. And then here, let's use what we just learned. The area of an x squared is one third base times height, or in, if the slope starts or ends at zero. Uh, but here, do you see that, that that's the, the fatter portion of the x squared, right? So that would be two thirds base times height, right? That pink area would be two thirds base times height. You, you know that a triangle, that would be one half base times height. This is more than a half, it's two thirds base times height. Two thirds base times height would be 36. What do you know? 
be 36. Awesome, because that breaks me back to zero. Now, V is the slope of M. V is the slope of M. Uh, height is um, 18, correct? Yeah, yeah. Height is 18. Base is, what, 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 base is three. All right, and now V is the slope of M. So I know it starts with a positive slope of 18. It ends with a slope of zero. I didn't really draw this to scale, but there's a curvature. It starts with a slope of 18. It ends with a slope of zero. So, so it'd be this, that type of curvature. I didn't really draw it. This should be a lot more smooth. It'd be concave down. 